First, you can easily download existing POS from QED. It allows you to analyze what you have on one Excel spreadsheet. Open POS, closed POS. If you uh, want to check when item was purchased last time, what supplier, what price, you can get this information from this report. Just for example, I want to create new purchase orders for the same supplier or for different supplier. I can specify supplier code, ship to site, what items I want to purchase, what quantities, what is the unit cost. I can say that yes, I want to create this new purchase order and click on create purchase orders, purchase orders. And I got purchase order number that was assigned in QED. So I can review purchase order how, it's, how it exists in QED. Another way to use this tool is you can download purchase order from one domain or one database and then you can change your database, create PO in that in other database. You have the PO create and PO modify function um, separate. You can download uh, all your existing purchase orders based on the selection criteria you specify. Here in green you can see only fields that I'm authorized to update. It's quantity, due date, cost, oh, and status of course. You can use action messages report. You can download from QED um, pure related actions. Here all of them are listed. You can select only those that you want to look at. Here our past yield purchase order means I need to change the date, change uh, expedite or de-expedite it. This is the release due for plant orders. I want to approve these two actions as well. And now I want to proceed with MRP actions approval. So receipt history, see it here, or you can look at the MRP detailed report to analyze if why this action even shows up here. You can click on approve and it's, it doesn't create anything yet. Here's my message. I want to put supplier code here and I will want to click on approve. And what's happening, the tool automatically sorts all those actions. Um, here are purchase orders that I need to create and here are the purchase orders that I need to modify. And for modify, it also suggests me the change, what the action should be like. This is my purchase order that MRP thinks is not necessary anymore. I need to cancel. And here I think this, the new dates, yes, new dates need to be assigned. And this is purchase order that is required so here in the action messages. This is the message related to past two purchase orders. And once everything, all data are verified, I can click on create purchase order and it will go into QED. In, my, in this example, there are only a couple of lines here and a couple of lines here, but it could be massive. You could have up to 100 lines here. And again, each PO creation and each PO modifier will generate email to the um, either administrative account, email account setup, or if you enabled it, it can go directly to the supplier or if you don't want to go to supplier, you can set it up so it will go to you and you'll just forward uh, email to supplier if you think it's necessary. I will show you an example. So here's the email that I received as a result of uh, creating new purchase order. So it's standard QED output in this particular case. Here's a sample of this demand report. What it can do, you can specify a range of uh, item numbers, site, uh, buyer. You can download and it will calculate projected demand and projected shortages based on your existing production schedule or sales, based on your existing demands. And then just copy paste that information into the PO create or tab and use it as a basis for my purchase order.